Hi guys, today I'm going to demonstrate an example of an ESG400 in-service and the major points to note when delivering this in-service to a customer. The main objective of the in-service is to provide an overview of the generator, including setup and use, and also basic troubleshooting. In providing an overview of the ESG400, we introduce it as an electrosurgical generator that is a multifunction platform for cutting and coagulation of tissue in open, laparoscopic and endoscopic procedures in conjunction with most electrosurgical accessories. We then list the features of the generator individually and describe the benefit of each as you go. These include, one, a full range of monopolar and bipolar modes. The benefit of this is that one generator only is required, regardless of which specialty it's speed to utilize for. Secondly, the touch screen graphical user interface feature allows for quick and easy setup and adjustments to settings. Thirdly, the memory functionality feature allows user settings to be saved. This could help reduce potential errors and also reduce setup times. Lastly, the compatibility with Endo Alpha and Thunderbeat feature allows for better OR integration and optimization of pre-settings for Olympus instruments. On the rear of the generator, you have two foot switch sockets, a volume control knob, ventilation holes, and both a link-in and a link-out socket. To activate the generator, simply press the power button. You'll see that it powers up quite quickly and the graphical user interface is activated. You can connect two monopolar instruments, one bipolar instrument, a dispersive electrode or patient return electrode plate, and Olympus proprietary instruments utilizing the Olympus universal socket. The universal socket is used for Olympus electrosurgical products only and features instrument recognition. The most common monopolar plugs include the three pin international standard plug, the four millimeter banana plug, the eight millimeter Bovee standard plug, and the five millimeter Irby standard plug. The most common plug is the so-called three pin international plug. If you use the three pin international standard plug, you can only connect it in one direction. This can be plugged into either monopolar one or monopolar two socket. It's important to connect the four millimeter banana plug into the correct socket. To do this, use the right hand socket in the monopolar connection area. A white ring around the socket indicates that this is the right socket for the four millimeter banana plug. Connecting the four millimeter banana plug to any other socket may cause damage to the generator. So it's very important for the users to know that the four millimeter banana plug has to be connected properly. Always try and remember that white is right. The eight millimeter Bovee plug gets connected to the central socket in the monopolar one connection area. The monopolar Irby type plug gets connected to the central socket in the monopolar two connection area. Bipolar instruments have to be connected to a bipolar socket. The most common plug is the two pin international standard plug. The universal socket powers Olympus instruments. It has instrument recognition and stores information about the instrument. When connecting an Olympus instrument, the ESG400 may ask you if you want to use the default settings. Click OK if you want to use the default settings. Click Cancel if you want to select your own settings. Or make use of pre-selected saved settings. When connecting the universal plug to the ESG400, the Olympus sign should be pointing upwards. When removing the cable, do not pull on it. Instead, pull on the plug itself. The display quadrants correspond to the connection areas on the left of the generator. Each time the generator restarts, it activates the settings which were in use when it was shut down. The graphical user interface has three different display layers. The first layer, or all screens, shows all connector settings and allows you to change the settings. Single screen can be selected by opening the corresponding window. It only shows the settings of the selected connection area. For example, here we choose the monopolar one button. You can see and change the settings for monopolar one. You can see a description, a symbol for the connector socket, a yellow cut field, and a blue coagulation field. The colors correspond to switches on the instruments. If you connect only one instrument to the generator, it is advisable to only have this instrument show up on the display. To change the maximum output power, press the plus and minus buttons accordingly. 
You can also change the effect setting. If the output power is too high or too low, changing the effect setting is the first step you should take to adjust the output power. You can then fine tune it further using the plus and minus buttons. The third layer on the graphical user interface is the mode layer. It allows you to change the energy waveforms or switch off the mode altogether, which can prove useful to prevent inadvertent inactivation. Instruments can be activated in two ways, either by using a foot switch or a hand switch. The foot switch supplied with the generator has a yellow cut and a blue coagulation pedal. A separate foot switch with a single blue coagulation pedal can also be purchased. This is used for coagulation only. In order to avoid confusion, you can only connect one single and one double foot switch to the generator. Next to the display, there's a button labelled foot switch. Use this button to open the screen that allows you to assign the foot switch to a dedicated connection area. Once you've assigned the foot switch, it'll be displayed on the screen, corresponding to the connection area. Most electrosurgical instruments use manual activation. You can still assign a foot switch even though your instrument has hand activation. If you press the yellow button on the hand switch, the corresponding area on the screen lights up yellow. If you press the blue button, the corresponding area lights up blue. To adjust the volume of the activation signal, you can use the black dial on the back of the generator. For safety reasons, however, the volume of the error message is preset and cannot be changed. If you select the Monopolar 2 socket on the touch screen and activate an instrument that is connected to the Monopolar 1 socket, the all screen will appear, showing which instrument is being activated. This will not happen if you are using the correct screen. For standard surgical applications, there are three important cut modes, pure cut, blend cut, and fine cut. The pure cut mode allows you to cut tissue as if you were using a scalpel with little to no hemostasis. If you desire a cut mode with a greater hemostatic effect, use the blend cut mode. The fine cut mode is used with thin instruments, such as a needle electrode. There are four monopolar coagulation modes, soft coag, force coag, spray coag, and power coag. The soft coag mode is the standard mode. It produces almost no tissue carbonisation. This mode is suitable for deep coagulation achieved by the use of forceps. The power coagulation mode is suitable for coagulation and cutting. It's a multi-purpose mode, suitable for most applications in open and laparoscopic surgery. The force coag mode is a standard mode for strong coagulation. And spray coag mode is used for a superficial coagulation. It has a spray effect and is suitable for stopping capillary bleeding. It's applied with the instrument held at a slight distance from the tissue. Bipolar energy is mainly used for coagulation. The main bipolar coagulation modes used in standard surgery are bisoft coag, auto coag, and hard coag. Bisoft coag is the standard bipolar coagulation mode to be used with bipolar forceps. This mode offers the option to assign an auto start function. Auto start is assigned like a foot switch in the foot switch menu. Auto coag is the same as bisoft coag, but in addition, it has an auto stop function. Hard coag is used in combination with larger instruments if vessel sealing is required. The universal socket offers a wide range of modes dedicated for Olympus proprietary instruments only. For example, saline modes for resectoscopes to be used in Turis procedures. Any Olympus instrument comes with a default cut and coag mode, which is re recommended for easy plug and play use. Detailed information about these modes can be found in the user manuals. Most generators on the market only allow you to change the power level. The ESG400 also has an additional feature called effect. You can choose effect one, two, or three. By changing the effect, the user can make quick adjustments to the energy output. The higher the effect level, the more tissue effect you will achieve. As a rule of thumb, use a low effect for fine instruments and a high effect for larger instruments. When referencing the buttons on the right side of the ESG400, the upper button is the Select Procedure button. It allows you to select your personalised procedure settings. In order to save your procedure settings, press the lower Menu button. After you have accessed the menu, select Save Procedure. Now you can either override a previously saved procedure or create a new procedure by adding a new name to the list. To complete the process, save the settings by pressing the OK button. If you want to delete a procedure, 
press the Delete Procedure button in the menu. After selecting the procedure, confirm that you really want to delete it. On the menu screen, you can also adjust the volume and brightness level, depending on the surrounds and your personal preferences. You can also choose between eight different languages. The touch tone button allows you to switch on and off the touch tone feedback. To scroll to the next page of the menu, use the arrow button. With auto start delay, you can set the time at which the activation of BiSoft Coag starts after grasping tissue. The other buttons in this menu area are for Olympus service technicians only. There are certain situations in which the ESG400 displays an error message. In this instance, the screen will display what to do for 10 seconds. Alternatively, press OK or activate the instrument to clear the message. Cleaning can be achieved with a soft, lint-free cloth moistened with 70% alcohol. Please remember to turn the generator off prior to cleaning and always dry when complete. If contaminated, a neutral detergent and surface disinfectant can be used. This now completes the ESG400 in-service. Thanks for your time.